Greetings YouTube! I finally dragged myself to the cinema to see this. This is Spider-Man Far From Home. Planning a trip? Mm -hmm. Going to Europe. It's a school trip. Peter Parker is going on holiday. At least until Nick Fury hijacks it. And the ways he hijacks their holiday are quite funny, diverting them from place to place. Here, Nick Fury. Put some clothes on. Let's go for a ride. The story goes thus. Quinton Beck arrives from another dimension to stop the elementals from destroying Earth. Fury recruits Spider-Man to assist. As before, Tom Holland does great as the webbed one. One moment he's being awkward teenager, then he runs into Beck, who says he's from another dimension. Suddenly, he's in excitable technobabble geek mode. It's adorable. You're saying there's a multiverse? We have a job to do, and you're coming with us. Jake Gyllenhaal does a terrific job bringing the character to life as the powerful, but down-to-earth, new superhero on the block. The bad guys in the film, the Elementals, are huge and larger than life, showing up to level the planet. Again. How many times has Earth been in danger of being pulverised this year? I've lost count. Also, it's interesting how every other superhero on the planet goes AWOL as soon as a particular threat shows up. But movies, eh? Where about Thor? Off-world. Captain Marvel. Unavailable. I'm just a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Bitch, please. You've been to space. The rest of the cast is good. Nick Fury, Aunt May, Happy Hogan. Thank you. New dress? Yes, it is. How'd you know? <laughs> What just happened? And of course, Ned and MJ. You look really pretty. And therefore, I have value. No, no, that's not I'm right. I'm messing with you. <laughs> you look pretty too. Everyone has a different amount of screen time, Aunt May less than most, but you don't feel like anyone is shortchanged. The characters show up, do their thing, no more, no less. For Spider-Man? I work with Spider-Man, not for Spider-Man. New plan. I could say more. But like Infinity War and Endgame, saying too much would spoil the film. There are a few surprises and twists thrown in for good measure and the story is well told. All in all, I thought this was a great film. Sony partnering with Marvel to do their Spider-Man films is probably the best decision, certainly in regard to Spider-Man, they've made in a long time. And with Disney's buyout of Fox, we've got the likes of X-Men, Fantastic Four, Deadpool, Blade, all added to the Marvel toy box. This film brings Phase 3 to an official close, and as crazy as it's been, it might be just about to get started.